Hey guys, so this is my first um, haul video of 2012 um, and it's just a mix of products that I brought from during the new year up until about now. First of all, it's um, just going to grab the Elite Secret Cheeks Blush. And I think this is exclusive to Watson's in Hong Kong. And this is in 03 Ipis. Go. And um, it's a brownie peachy colour. And it's not a colour I usually go for because I usually use really dark makeup and I tend to look quite pale even though I'm an NC25 um, so I tend to use quite pink blushes just so that I don't look like I'm dead or something um, try to give you a swatch here but it's not really showing but there it is but um, I actually like this colour um, I just think it just really suits me it's not too bright um, I like the consistency because I find a lot of powder blushes can be quite dry but this one's um, it goes on quite soft and smooth and it doesn't dry my skin out so yeah um, I also picked up a bronzer this is from this is by Gosh and I think this is also exclusive to Watson's and I think you can get this brand in Superdrugs in the UK. And this is in 02 Natural Glow. I don't really use bronzers because I've never really had to. But um, since arriving in Hong Kong, Hong Kong, the weather's been mixed. And um, it's been really sunny some days. And I ended up getting a tan from my neck downwards. So instead of having to get a whole new shade or foundation just to suit the rest of my body I just use a bronzer instead um, I also brought um, a foundation this isn't a darker one or anything I just picked it up um, I have no excuse I just picked it up um, It's and it's um, Kate by Knoebel, Knoebel, can't pronounce it, I can't find the name, um, but it's a mineral foundation and it's in OCC and they only have three shades, so um, yeah, the one below is too white and the one above is just too orange. But yeah, I've used this a few times. I kept the boxes just so I've got a bit of information about it. But um, yeah, I can't read it. But yeah, it's a mineral foundation and it goes on really nice. It's a light to medium coverage um, that is buildable. And um, yeah, I've only used it a couple of times. So okay, next also by Kate is um, I picked up this volume gel mascara because I wanted a mascara that um, well I still like the heroin make mascara that I've mentioned umpteenth time in my other videos but four days where I'm just going to the local town or what have you I don't want to come back and have to use the mascara remover by them and it's just a big hassle so sometimes I just want something that's easy to take off so I thought I'd give this a try I haven't tried it yet but yeah and this is oh this one actually has a price it's $95 so Hong Kong dollars so that's about maybe eight pounds um also picked up the this eyebrow duo from cyber colors um, it says a 24 eyebrow duo and I've only seen this brand in Sasa and this is around £10 and I just picked it up because I just wanted a translucent 
um, eyebrow mascara. I've got one, I've got another one, but that's um, in dark brown. And I just wanted one that was transparent and um, again, just for days where I don't put a lot of makeup on. And this actually comes with a pencil in one end. Oh, this is in dark brown. So, pencil in one end and mascara wand in the other. So, I um, haven't tried it out yet, but yeah, can't wait to give it a go. Oh, something just came out. Okay, right. And finally with the beauty products, I picked up, I've got this on at the moment, um, it's the Cyber Colours Gemstone Lip Surge, and I mentioned I've got a nude beige, um, also in this make, and I really love it because it's really moisturising, um, and the, but the colour stays put um, for a very long time. And this one is in Plum 13 Plum Cherry. And I really like this colour. It looks very red on camera, but um, it's actually more brown, dark purple colour. And um, it's really, really nice. I love the colour. I love how moisturising it feels. It doesn't dry my lips out at all. And, um, yeah, I think I'll be getting a lot more lipstick from um, this line, from this brand. So, yeah. Um, next, I had brought this jumper from Bossini in Hong Kong. And it wasn't much of a discount. I can't remember how much it was. I don't know if, how well you can see this. But it's... Um, a longish one it goes up down to here and I just love the lace lace details I have at the front with um, the white um, playing card design at the back so really love this jump out it's so comfortable it's quite cold in Hong Kong at the moment so it's the first time I've worn it um, also I brought this ring and um, I just thought it just looked really nice this is <coughs> Excuse me. This is from H and M, and it was around forty-eight Hong Kong dollars. So, so probably around four pounds. Um, so yeah, love this ring. And I know the H and M. Um, what they stock in H and M is the same as all the store worldwide. So you could probably still get this in the UK and wherever there's a H and M. So I love this, and I finally I also brought. Um, these boots and this is from a store called IT in uh, the shopping centre festival walk in Kowloon Tong and um, I love these boots oh, God, I don't know if you can see it with my black jumper on and I love it because it's sort of a seamless um, leather here you can't see the separate heel and I think this is in at the moment in Hong Kong because it's sort of every in every store and I just love the lace details and it's actually a zip there's a zip here so you don't have to undo the lace all the time so I'm loving these and these were around these were on discount but are still around 65 pounds I think but that's about average what I buy, some ankle boots that I buy from River Island, so I love these. Um, and that is it. Um, if you want me to do a more thorough review on any of the items you I've mentioned, then just give me a message, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!